even though our soul, the ways of holiness of Son, teach us to raise our minds and hearts up to the Trinity, and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you your journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims here in charity is in the ship. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us sleep the thought of God. Let let each man take us further into the depths to the gas of sinners. And the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine being, will see all things in the eternal life in the unity. Father, this child, 
And they say, the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob is no he. Marvelous, most senseless of people, fools, when will you understand? Can he who made the ear not hear? Can he who formed the eye not see? Will he who trains the nations not punish? Will he who teaches men not have knowledge? The Lord knows the thoughts of men. He knows they are no more than a breath. Happy the man whom you teach, O Lord, whom you train by means of your law. To him you give peace in evil days, while the pit is being dug for the wicked. The Lord will not abandon his people, nor forsake those who are his own. For judgment shall again be just, and all true hearts shall uphold it. Who will stand up for me against the wicked? Who will defend me from those who do evil? If the Lord were not to help me, I would soon go down into the silence. When I think I have lost my foothold, Your mercy, Lord, holds me up. When cares increase in my heart, your consolation calms my soul. Can judges who do evil be your friends? They do injustice under cover of law. They attack the life of the just and condemn innocent blood. As for me, the Lord will be a stronghold. My God will be the rock where I take refuge. He will repay them for their wickedness, destroy them for their evil deeds. The Lord our God will destroy them. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. May our Lord console your hearts and strengthen them. He has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. My song is of mercy and justice. I sing to you, O Lord. I will walk in the way of perfection. O and Lord, will you come? I will walk with blameless heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes whatever is base. I will hate the ways of the crooked, they shall not be my friends. The false-hearted must keep far away, the wicked I disown. The man who slanders his neighbor in secret, I will bring to silence. The man of proud looks and haughty heart, I will never endure. I look to the faithful in the land that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way of perfection shall be my friend. No man who practices deceit shall live within my house. No man who utters lies shall stand before my eyes. Morning by morning I will silence all the wicked in the land. Uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He has perfected for all time, 
those who are sanctified. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. Who has cupped in his hand the waters of the sea, and marked off the heavens with a span? Who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he console to gain knowledge? Who taught him the path of judgment? Or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as dust on the scales. The coastlands weigh no more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for you nor its animals be enough for all the cause. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing and void he accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The Lord is King, the peoples tremble. He is thrown on the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise His name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a King who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name were Samuel. They invoked the Lord, and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the law, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives. Yet you punished all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. From 
St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Every one of us will have to give an account of himself before God. Therefore, we must no longer pass judgment on one another. Instead, you should resolve to put no stumbling block, stumbling block or hindrance in your brother's way. The kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of justice, peace, and the joy that is given by the Holy Spirit. Whoever serves Christ in this way pleases God and wins the esteem of men. Let us then make it our aim to work for peace and to strengthen one another. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Ece ascendimus, hiero solima, er consuma bundur omnia, que scriptas unde filio minis, tradetore nim gentibus, er iludetur, et flagellabitur, et conspuetur, Et vos quam flagella verit occidenteum, 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with a spirit of wisdom, those to whom you've given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with Lord your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. Who reflect the Father's light. By revealing to, to us the mystery of the word. The eternal fruit of his bosom. Source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh. Who at the last supper rested in your head on the heart's heart. Drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Apostles under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit, Paraclete, and Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Lord.